When staking out data in Surf CE, one of the features that you have inside the program is the ability to determine how the information is displayed to you, meaning how do you get to this particular location that you're trying to stake. And when you're doing GPS, for example, you may want to see things one way in a total station, a different way in a robotic and uh, an entirely different method. So what you do is from the survey menu, if you go into store points, for example, you can go into the configure option. Now you can also get this once you're inside the store point screen. So if I were to change my instrument to a, uh, a GPS, so, uh, GPS simulation, for example, GPS rover, GPS simulation, and if we were to go to store points, we could go to the configure button, and it's the same option here. How will you view the particular point? The method is either in, out, left, and right, north, south, east, and west, or an azimuth and a distance. Now, typically, when you're dealing with a total station, you want this to be in, out, left, and right. With a GPS, uh, a lot of times, for example, when we put an ALTA system out uh, with a data collector, the clamp that connects the data collector, the pole, we typically only put those out with a, a compass, so it makes it a lot easier to figure out where north, south, east, and west are uh, with, without having to stop and, and you know, really think about and figure out where you are. Total station, it's simply easier to say in, out, left, and right. Now, when you're dealing with in, out, left, and right, it wants to know the reference object. Now, with a total station, the reference object is either your rodman or it's your instrument. With GPS, you have the option to say it's either the base or a point. Uh, let's take the case of a reference network. If I'm using GPS to stake off a reference network, I may not know where that base is. So what I can do is I can go shoot a point and say I want everything to be based off that point uh, or, or pick a point in my point list, for example. And then when it gives the directions, do you want to give the directions from the reference object or from the rover? The same thing would be true in a total station. Do you want the reference direction from the instrument or from the rodman? Uh, th that helps the issue with converting lefts and rights, for example. You, you don't have to figure out, well, is that my left or his left? I can simply set it so that it's always the direction of the rodman. So the rodman needs to move two feet to the right of where he currently is and two feet into the total station, for example. You have the option to use the center line as a reference, ob as a reference object and also to use a horizontal clock uh, system. So if we were set to azimuth and distance, we could use horizontal clock. So that would tell me, for example, go to my six o'clock position. So that's how you can customize Surf CE to help making staking of data much easier.